Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to render your floor plan step by step using Canva. Super easy and beginner friendly. And that's not all, by the end of the video, I will also show you how to create a cool animation like this one, this one, or even this one. So stick around and let's not waste any time, let's get started. First open Google Chrome or any browser you use, then type canva.com here you will see it appears like this if you don't have an account click here to sign up and if you already have one click here to log in it for now let's go ahead and log in i'll log in with my google account and after you log in you press here for create a new design i prefer to use this presentation ratio click here and it will open like this in this bar you will find all options we will use while creating our design First, I will click here to upload my 2D plan. Once you upload your floor plan, just click on it. It will appear in your paper. And then upscale it a little bigger. Mm, something like this. And put it in the middle of the paper. Okay, first thing I will do is drawing the walls. Okay, click on element icon right here. And type rectangle or black rectangle like this is here and choose photos and click on this and put it in your walls then resize it to match your wall thickness to zoom in like this or zoom out zoom in like this okay let's small this a little bit and size like this cool and move it to another wall we have and do it more one more time we need to rotate it from vertical to be horizontal we will press in this rotate icon right here and rotate it and put it in right position like this and do the same process to all the walls you have when you finish drawing the wall press alt and one then select the first wall and the last wall while holding shift to select them all. This way you won't accidentally move anything while you're working. After that, group them so they become a single wall. Like this. In this step, we will add textures to the flooring of the entire floor plan. You can use the textures available on Canva or download images from anywhere and upload them to use freely. But for now, I will be using Canva's textures only. Let's start by adding a floor texture to the bathroom. I will type ceramic, sorry, ceramic tiles, this, and press OK, and go to the graphics. Uh, I will choose this, this looks good. Okay, small it a little bit to match your plan scale. That's cool. Duplicate it. Make it like a box. Just like this. Select all by holding shift. And put it into the bathroom. Just zoom in a little to see what's going on here. Let's scale it from here a little bit. And that's what I got. Okay, let's do another one. We will fill this area to the stone floor. And we will choose this. Looks good, but it's more cartonic one. I don't need it. I need something realistic. I think this is better for now. Small it. Make it vertical. Put it here, make the same we have done to the bathroom, like this, select them all, sorry, just like this, scale it a little bit here, that's cool. We will do the same process again to the old flooring plant. And don't forget to press Alt and 1 and choose the texture and make them group. Choosing the first one, the last one while holding shift and press right click and make it group like this. And also for more safety, press right click on the walls and lock it. By this way, you can't resize or move your walls anymore. 
this is plan are moving not my rule okay now that we have placed anything in their spot it's time to make the element look more realistic by adding shadows i will type here shadow effects and go to the graphics let's take this just small a little bit and here and here and we will do this to the whole elements and now we have finished adding shadows to all the elements making them look much more realistic and if you have made it this far don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss any updates now that we have finished rendering the floor plan let's add some animation to it before we animate our floor plan we first need to ungroup all the elements we grouped earlier then select the entire page click on animation and choose any of these options i hope you enjoy the video but don't forget if you have any questions drop them in the comment section see you in the next video